Hi everyone, I hope you're having a great day. Uh, this week I've been thinking about uh, Galatians chapter 5 and in particular about uh, the, uh, the fruit of the Spirit that's uh, there in uh, Galatians chapter 5. Uh, fruit meaning uh, evidence or uh, the outworking of the Holy Spirit in the life of the follower of Jesus Christ. And uh, there is the, the list. Uh, I talked to you about that, that list uh, earlier on in the week. Uh, one of those items on the list is peace. Uh, when we have peace in our lives, we know that it's the evidence of the Holy Spirit at work in us. Uh, that is the promise of our Lord. Uh, interesting that uh, peace would be on the list. Peace is uh, spoken of throughout uh, the scripture. For instance, uh, when uh, the Lord instructs uh, the priests, uh, the priests in the line of Aaron, uh, they are told to uh, speak the Lord's blessing onto the people. And by that, they would uh, speak the name of the Lord over uh, God's people. And uh, in that blessing, as uh, they're told to repeat uh, the name of the Lord three times, they're also said that it is uh, the Lord who would grant peace as they speak that that blessing over the people it shouldn't also uh, surprise us that uh, uh, the peace that transcends all understanding is uh, spoken of in the word as well and how often it is a great privilege to pray that that prayer over people uh, so that they might know uh, the lord's peace uh, may the the god of peace May his peace that transcends all understanding. In the older translation, it's that peace that passes or surpasses all understanding. Uh, God's uh, incredible peace. We pray that uh, for uh, those who are in need. As well, there's that uh, interesting uh, little statement in, uh, at the end of the book of Romans, Romans 16.20. Uh, it says, and the God of peace will soon crush Satan underneath your feet. He, he's mixing all kinds of uh, biblical images with that, uh, speaking about uh, Jesus Christ and how he, uh, by the cross, uh, crushed our enemy, Satan. And uh, that uh, uh, the God of peace, of course, uh, speaking of uh, the great peace that uh, comes to us uh, through Christ. So as uh, we reflect on that, uh, that truth, that the evidence of the working of the Spirit in us. Uh, one part of that, of course, is that we'll be people of peace. That doesn't mean that we won't have trouble. Of course, uh, we'll have all kinds of trouble, but even in the midst of the trouble, uh, we can be people of peace because of the Holy Spirit at work in us. So let's have a, a peaceful day today, uh, despite any of the things that are going on around us and. Uh, and even in our, our lives and uh, in uh, the deepest parts of our hearts, uh, we know that uh, troubles will come. But even in the midst of the troubles, we can have the Lord's peace. Peace I give unto you, he says, not as the world gives peace, but it's that peace that comes from our Lord, the peace that passes all understanding. May you have a peaceful day. God bless you.